Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tony and I'm about to uh, set up and install my rack wireless outdoor enclosure setup for the rack hotspot miner. So this is currently how I have mine set up. I'm just going to try this out and see how it works. Um, on the top of my house, I do have an old dish satellite uh, pole mount already. So I'm just going to pretty much put this whole enclosure with the rack ADBI antenna on top of that and just see how it works. Um, but yeah, currently there's a lot of space in here you can clearly see the miner the hotspot setup and the poe splitter now this is actually not the rack wireless uh provided poe splitter i'm using my own just because i already have one um it's a gigabyte speed so i mean my injector and my splitter is made for each other so that's why i'm using my own but you can see tons of space on here if you guys want to install for example like a uh, 4g hotspot setup in here um, you can basically fit like another rack in here with plenty of space and also space up here if you want to run other setups. But you can see um, the width between side to side is basically a square. It's about seven and a half inches wide. And the height uh, that you have between this plate and the edge here is about an inch and a half. Um, so you can see the top lid also has a hump. So, I mean, you can probably fit other stuff that's a little bit taller because if you look here at the rack, it does fit a little bit above this case. Actually, not a little bit. It's about a good half an inch above this case and the top cover closes on, no issues. You can see well-built case. A couple of things I do like um, on the bottom here, you can see the ethernet cable plugs directly into here. Um, unlike the Bobcat, enclosure from rack wireless you you know that one you have to feed the ethernet cable through here up along inside and then plug it up and then put the cover on this one um, on the rack version you can actually close everything up mount it and then the last step is just plug it in so it's very easy to install very simple uh, less hassle with you know having to bolt on the cover later on after you install it so especially if you're working on like a, a, a side of a two-story house it's gonna be hard to you know plug everything in and bolt it and put the cover on this one it's gonna be a lot easier because you can just basically mount everything and then plug it up and that's pretty much it the clamp here adjustable I mean you have a lot of space uh, chain link fence uh, old sat dish satellite mount will fit this no problem I think if you even have a street light you can climb up there and put this bracket on there it's you can make it pretty wide so that's cool. Um, a couple of tips too, if you guys are gonna install this, uh, your first time installing any kind of outdoor enclosure, you see all of these rubber gaskets, the O-rings for all the plugs and the covers. Um, what I would recommend is just putting a thin coat of grease, like take it out, grease it up. You can get some other, like electrical grease or just any kind of like grease that's safe for rubber. And just put a coating in, that's gonna help uh, seal it up and prevent water from getting in, especially if you live in, uh, rainy parts of the state i live out here in california it's mostly dry year round um the only rain we get is like a slight drizzle um but yeah so if you guys want to go that route make sure you properly seal up your enclosure um also i would recommend like all of the screws that goes into the case <clears throat> uh, for like the plate and the covers and the ground and stuff like that i would just recommend you guys to put uh, a little bit of Loctite on them. Uh, these screws do have a washer and a split uh, washer already, which will prevent the screw from backing off. But you never know. I would just say if you're going to do a pro build, use a little bit of Loctite just to be in a safe side because, you know, especially some buildings have vibrations and stuff like that, especially on like condos and high rises. They may have a little bit more shakes and you never know. You want to want any of these screws to back off and have your thing get loose, you know, up there when you're uh, having this mounted outdoor. The rack ADBI antenna bolts directly down to here. Um, you know, it's super simple, the rack bolt, no adapters needed, but obviously, if you're gonna mount this, you still wanna get a, um, a lightning arrestor between here and here, and then ground that to the bottom of this and also run that all ground all the way down to uh, your earth. So, um, but I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that because I'm not a professional and I don't wanna give you guys the wrong information, but you still wanna use a lightning arrestor because if you're running your antenna setup outdoors, you have to ground it or else lightning can damage a lot of stuff or even cause fires in your house. So you can see, plug it on here. 
very nice setup super clean i love it um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below and i'll try my best to help you guys out and uh there you go guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later